Hello viewers this video and welcome back to the Redstone Innovation Channel. Um, today I've got a basic little logic gate circuit, logic circuit, <laughs> a T flip flop. Um, really basic compared to what I've been releasing recently, but it's a really nice design and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So you press the button, the output is off, you press the button again, and the output is on. Uh, let's just go ahead and build it right now. I'm going to start off with a block and a torch on the end. Uh, redstone there. This torch is going to be powering a piston there. And this block. Um, give, give that sticky piston a block. Um, now this block is the block that's going to be given a one tick signal. So you could simply draw your one tick signal out from repeaters. Or you can directly place a piston next to that block and uh, this piston will be powered for one tick. To draw an output from this, simply dig down one and place a torch. And then this torch will be powering this block here when this block is here and then power that redstone. And then likewise if that block is gone it won't be powering this redstone. You cannot draw your output from here because it's just going to power that piston so you have to draw from here. That is if you want your piston here, you can always move it. Um, to power this monostable, you can just lead power into it from a repeater. Okay, so uh, what I forgot to mention uh, when talking about leading power in, uh, yes, you can still use that repeater. Uh, but another thing, another thing you can do is make this a redstone input. It'll make it a block bigger, but it's not that much different from a repeater. So this is just going to accomplish the same thing, it's still going to power this block and then power this at the same time. Um, one thing that, uh, the reason that this works is because this is a dot of redstone, this dot will power in all directions. Um, but if you wanted to just do that, that wouldn't work because it wouldn't power this block. So what you need to do is lead this around and cut it off so it points into that block and then this will just lead around and invert this torch. So, sorry about not mentioning that. So, yeah. Um, thought that was kind of cool. I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of an explanation right now. So, for you guys that really don't know, um, <laughs> a piston, when given a one tick pulse, will spit out the block it's holding. So, just one tick pulse, it spits out the block. Given another one tick pulse, it'll retract it back. Um, so yeah, the way that you give this piston, this piston here, a one tick pulse is through this monostable here. And so when you first press this button, let's just lead power into it with a repeater. Um, it's first going to power this redstone here, powering this block, and then this piston. And that's all instant. Then, one tick later, it's going to retract this piston. And if you don't know, a piston, when depowered, will instantly retract. So, one tick after this redstone is powered, it's going to retract this. So that means this block is here for only one tick, and then is removed, and is stored here. So, hopefully that made sense. This is powered for one tick, well, this is powered, and then one tick later, the block is removed and therefore get a one tick signal to this piston or this block. Um, yeah, so I thought that was a kind of a cool little uh, monostable I hadn't seen anywhere else. Um, of course, uh, someone can always link me to something that shows me that this has already been made, but I thought this was pretty cool. I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, yeah, so this is the Redstone Innovation Channel. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to show your support for more content in the future. As always, we thank you for watching.